Good morning, Soul Family. Tracy here with Sweet Spot E Magazine. Thank you so very much for the likes, the subscribes, the shares, the comments. Keep the comments coming. I love those. Let's just jump in and see what the message is that Spirit has. Oh, and I found a bell. It's not the bell that I like, but it's a bell. We're going to ring it and clear the energy. Oh. Ooh, already. Done. Already. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, done. That was it. Somebody is direct and to the point. That's like, hey, can I, do you mind if I, boom, boom, done. It's done. Bottom of the deck. Courtship. Somebody's not playing around. Somebody is not playing around. They they mean business. Either this is like about a relationship, somebody's trying to court somebody, or somebody's trying to, you know, court somebody for business. But they're not playing. They're getting straight and to the point. What's the message, Spirit? What's the message? Let me see if I can move this mic. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Somebody wants to make something official. They want to go to the courthouse. Something about, they see this, this gift. They see this gift. And it's like they, it's either they want to, I, I kind of, and I did see the adjudication card come out. It's almost like they want to, protect this business. They want to maybe copyright it. Some, something that they worked hard at. Really, really hard at. And they're kind of concerned that maybe somebody's going to come in and try and take something that's not theirs. To steal this gift. Yep. So yeah, if you need to copyright your works, ooh, that's too many. Somebody's gonna try and slide something in with this this courtship because this courtship tried to slide in between the couch couch cushions. So somebody with this within this courtship is gonna try and slide something in, something that somebody's not expecting. Something that is not of high honor, have high honor, and something they're not talking about. So they're going to try and slide something in, maybe like a contract. But there's something that you need to read all the fine print. All the fine print. To keep yourself straight. Because if not, this person has some, something set up so that you'll be the one that's taking the fall for something and be out in the cold or sick because of it, you know, or you'll be the one that, that suffers because of it. And this other person will be the one that gets all the glory. So this is coming up in the not too distant future. Yeah, make sure that you protect yourself, whatever this is. You know, because somebody, it's like, yeah, some, you could. there's something that someone sees that they're going to try and, they may try and take you to court over. They may try and, seriously, they may try and take you to court over. Almost, I just for, for whatever reason, I feel like somebody's trying to hold block something. Like they're trying to prolong something. They feel that if they, I feel like if they feel like if they get it like in court, it's gonna prolong something, so that you won't be able to enjoy whatever this is. Yeah, because this is upside down in reverse. It's like they they want to. 
They don't want this to happen for you. And it's like they want to they want to try and take somebody to court to try and stretch something out. You know, like they want to try and con- contest something. What's the message? What's the message? Yeah, you can't make this up. Somebody wants to try and contest something. You know, it's something that they've been working on for sure. But this is, it's a false person. It, it's a, its this mature woman. She's the one. She's the one that's trying to contest something. Like, no, I am the, I'm the right, I'm the one that's supposed to, I am the, this could be even in like spiritual court. For some reason, I felt like, for some reason, when I saw that mature woman, I was getting the feeling of like this mature woman is trying to somehow steal your matriarchy. If that makes any sense to anyone. But you are the official person though. And that's what this person has been trying to hide. That you've been the one that has the gift. And and you've been working at something really hard. Because someone was trying to hide something. Like they were trying to hide that you were the official person. And they were trying to act like they were the official person. Because their whole plan. Was to gain some sudden wealth from someone's death in the family. That's why they wanted to kind of get you out of the way. Can't make this up. Can't make this up. And this official person is bringing it to light that that's a false person. This is going to happen in the not too distant future. You know? It's going to happen in the not too distant future. What else, Spirit? Yeah. Change is afoot. Especially with this main male and this mature man. Change is afoot. And these two are in the same family. Something about this relationship changed. It's almost like they could see that this person Maybe this main male was part of this false person duo. Because you see there's two people in the picture. And like one was telling the other one what to do when the other one was just doing it blindly. Even though these are all, this person like all this red, all these red flags. But and, And looking at this person, the red hair, the red dress, red even in the fan. Something about those two change. It's like one could see that, wait, wait a minute. Almost like somebody was, they could see that, yeah. With this lover's card and this great fortune at the bottom and this privileged lady, it's like, they could see that it's like this main male chooses to be with with this this soulmate, this twin flame, this person. Or, you know, and it could even be somebody in the same family that they actually, you know, are a fantastic person. They have so much worth 
you know, they are worth their weight in gold and they really are a privileged lady and they were part of the family, but they were like exiled out. Could be one of the, a child. They were left out in the cold. So somebody sees something where there was some information, like this, like this, maybe this main male has signed this contract thinking he was going to get a gift. Or he did that. He pledged this this allegiance, thinking he was going to get a gift, and he worked really, really hard for you know doing whatever whatever this mature man said to do, thinking he was going to get this house and this that and the other. But something with with within that relationship wasn't the truth. It was based on a lie. This this person didn't ex- didn't tell them that what they were expecting to get, they weren't going to get. This person didn't tell them that everything that they was doing was based on a fucking lie. This person didn't tell them that there was a lot of stuff that they were choosing not to say. This person didn't tell them all that. Yet this person was the biggest ass lie. And they happened to find, they had to find that out like the hard way. You know, once this person felt imprisoned, like spiritually cut off, like trapped, like I, I fucked up. I messed up the best thing for me for some, something that didn't even give a shit about me. And it's like, then they, that's whenever this person, this, this, main male started waking the fuck up like wait what the fuck yeah and it's like that's whenever they started they went on this journey to find out some more family secrets because there was a whole bunch of shit that this person figured out that they did not know that they chose to do the to make these actions they chose to do these things. They chose a certain path. They they th- thought these certain thoughts to pre- behave in this certain way based on a one-sided, bullshit-ass, made-up lies from some deranged motherfucker that they didn't even do their motherfucking homework to check no shit out. And it's the person that lied to them. That's the one that they're having a difference of opinion. Yep, can't make this up. Same three. Same person, same family. This is why they're having that difference of opinion. And somebody in that family could be this mature woman is sitting here thinking, thinking, why did she choose that? Like, what was it about that path that she chose? And she realized the reason she chose that is because she expected to have, if she felt like she, if she went that way, if she chose that person, that mature man, that she would have sudden wealth. And and, and that her, her life would be easy, you know, because... This man was going to, he, he was this wealthy man and he was going to bring in this sudden wealth. But whenever she got with him, she found out that was all a lie. She found out that that was all a lie. Not only did she find out it was a lie, but there's also something that has to do with a child. A child that she lied to that person, the person that she married for money, and this mature man and said that that was his child, but that wasn't his child. 
And it took a lot of years for this mature man to figure this out, that this was not his child. That she lied. That mature woman lied. And so he spent, like, I don't know how long in despair because thinking about the one that he left out in the cold. The one that was his child. Yeah. It's almost like this man is thinking about this, his choice too. The choice that he made way back when. Bottom of the deck, the nine of materials. I feel like this is that privileged lady. What's the message? Two of voices and three of emotions. Yeah. It's like there's a decision that was made. And when somebody made this decision, it was like they... I feel like it's a this three of emotions is like a, a celebration. Yeah. It's because like they were able to finally close some chapters. They finally, you know, not just close some chapters, but dealt with the emotions that they felt and the heartache and the heartbreak that they experienced and the confusion. Night of inspiration and the four of inspiration. Something happens fast with their stability. Something happens really fast with their stability. Like one door closed and another door opened. Because I did see the death card. What's the message? What's the message? Someone from the past Someone from the past is thinking about this person, someone that they have a relationship with. You know, things that this person is thinking about. This person from the past is thinking about how they, they're feeling, like, blocked from this relationship. How somebody had to make a head-over-heart decision, and they chose themselves. What else? Anything else? This is too many. I'm not going to take all of these. It really is too many. Anything else, Spirit? I see the muse of emotions. King of Cups. Maybe somebody is dealing with their emotions now. Maybe somebody is. Yeah. Somebody's dealing with their emotions now because they're it's almost like they're they're thinking about the past. They're having a, a tower moment. They're thinking about everything. And the one thing that they're truly thinking about is how when you walked away. It feels like their happiness left too.
Yep. Yep. Because right now they're exp they're going through a period where they're experiencing lots and lots of con conflict and lots and lots of lies. Lots of deceit and conflict. And this is like a tower moment that they almost needed for them to finally work on themselves so that they they can they'll allow spirit to guide them where they need to go. And they can put an end to this misery that they are feeling, this misery and this pain. Because this person is now awakened. They now see. And it's like right now what they want most is to be balanced. They want the healing. You know, it's like they want the healing of this queen of emotions, this queen of cups, who's also this queen of materials, someone that's loving, grounded, you know, successful, who's creative with the magician and the queen of, queen of voices, someone who speaks the truth. It's like they create whatever. Whatever they set their mind to, they are going to be able to get it. And they speak the truth. Yep. So someone is, this person is uh, definitely having a, a tower moment. You know, it's this, I feel like it's this main male because this tower fell on this main male. It's this main male who's thinking about all that shit that he in his youth that was so, so important, only to find out one day, 24 hours later, with a scintilla of wisdom that grew overnight, how he was able to look at everything so differently, like he could finally see the light. I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to record this afternoon after work. Thank y'all so very much. If you have not subscribed, please do so. I am trying to reach 2,000 subscribers. And um, come back and see me soon. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Love y'all.